other because Lilith is very Plutonian. It's dark, it's obsessive, it's controlling. It wants to control, it wants to consume, it wants to integrate, and it wants that sense of that rush of power that comes with that when you actually are tapping into um, the tension that has to be released. So when you release that, you fall into the abyss, you fall into that deep Plutonian energy of what Lilith is, you relinquish your control. And that's ultimately what Lilith wants. Lilith wants you to relinquish your control. Lilith wants you to kind of fall into the darkest depths um, together with her so that you can then reveal what it really is um, that is deep within your emotional needs or what you felt like were your emotional needs. Um, Lilith is definitely there to revitalize and kind of reform um, what you thought you uh, were doing in terms of an emotional expression. So when we're thinking about this square, Lilith kind of wants the moon to forget or release any preconceived ideas of what it means to be feminine, what it means to be nurturing, what that even looks like. And Lilith is kind of there to kind of jolt the moon in a different direction. So this is why it's making a 90 degree angle. It's a square. It's coming from totally left field. So when we see that, it's almost like the two people cannot get enough of each other. And I have this double whammy in synastry with my husband, Santi. And it's just so, so amazing because we really are so obsessed with each other and just cannot get enough of each other at all. And it could almost play out like a moon square Pluto. And my husband is also going through this transit as well. So it's particularly interesting. The only difference is that it has more to do with their own trauma regarding the feminine. Um, being the moon. So whoever the moon is, Lilith is going to kind of trigger their own trauma of what it is to be feminine, what it means to be feminine, what the feminine is. So Lilith will definitely trigger the moon in all that a woman is supposed to be, but they kind of like it at the same time. It's kind of like, ooh, it's interesting. What's going on here? What can I learn from this, you know? So the two of us definitely can't get away even if we tried. And that's exactly what it feels like. Extremely, extremely intense. It's almost like if the two people are already very Plutonian as we are, um, it can work very well. In my husband's chart, he has a Scorpio moon and a Scorpio stellium. And he's already very, very, very Plutonian. And Pluto on the descendant. And I also have some Pluto oppositions as well. And he's also activate, like activating my Pluto as well. So this makes me extremely Plutonian. So if you're already very Plutonian and you have any Pluto aspects in your chart, um, you will be able to deal with the square a little bit easier because like I said, Lilith is kind of like the feminine Pluto. Um, so especially if you have Scorpio in your chart, um, you're definitely going to be able to tap in to this energy a lot easier because you're already going to be embodying this energy. There may have even been some darker themes to the consummation of this pairing if you have this in synastry. It can completely bring out anything that was repressed about feminine expression. Lilith is definitely how we express our sexuality. So this is going to be going on a more subconscious level between um, the two individuals. So thank you so much, you guys, for joining this astrological explanation of Lilith Square Moon Double Whammy. I am Tifereth Matrix, and I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and like the video. And if you have any recommendations or any uh, requests of a video, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!